Good morning, I made my grazing table for the day. Me acting like it's not five in the morning. This is so like your unemployed friend on a Tuesday vibes. I look so much worse than I thought I looked, which is awesome. I love that for me. Okay, so today's video is something different, something new. I figured I'd like try it out. That's called I'm Fleeing New York. This city has chewed me up, spit me out. Um, not a ton I can talk about like why this is happening. <laughs> completely unrelated i did move here to work at tiktok and now i no longer get, work at tiktok i did sign an nda like i literally cannot talk about it so that's kind of all you're gonna get from me on that but yeah anyway for those of you who don't know this and like i really genuinely can't think of why you would i went to indiana graduated two years ago i moved to seattle to work at amazon i stayed there for a year then i got an offer at tiktok and of course i was like yeah i'm gonna do that and so then i moved from seattle to new york and honestly it's been a very crazy and intense last two years i just like kind of dove into working at like some of the most insane companies to work for if i'm being totally honest like very infamous in a lot of ways and part of me is just honestly tired um and i feel like i need a break a little bit like mentally and physically for those of you who don't know i was doing like 55 hour weeks for the last like nine months and it was so hard on me <laughs> i feel like i've lived here and i haven't really gotten a chance to fully enjoy it which i do kind of like that does make me a little bit sad i decided to end my lease early sublet my apartment and then move back to my parents house they live in the suburbs of chicago so i'm gonna hang out with them and like see my dogs and not pay rent which i'm very excited about i have some other plans coming i'll tell you guys more about them in the future and where my mind's at like my plans for all of that stuff but yeah that's just kind of where i'm at right now however i have to move the hell out of the city and i have to do that in like 48 hours from now <laughs> when i moved to seattle my mom and i drove like from chicago to seattle and that's like a absurd drive i think it was like 28 hours like something actually insane and it was horrible like it was it was so bad <laughs> when i moved from seattle i was gonna stop at home for like two weeks so i went from seattle and my lease didn't start here until like i think like two weeks after my lease ended in seattle so i had to put my stuff at home and the cost of moving my stuff from seattle would have just been outrageous so i had to get rid of a ton of it my mom and i like boarded a plane with a bunch of suitcases and like it was really annoying but it was fine anyway i am going to somehow manage to bring like five fucking suitcases with me on the plane and that's gonna suck ass <laughs> it's gonna be so annoying i'm just like already so embarrassed about the process of me like ordering an uber and then having to be like <laughs> like wait i have like several bags like it's gonna be so embarrassing i'm not too embarrassed about like being at the airport and the procedure of that like i'm just gonna like go and find anyone to like take my bags i don't actually care where they end up like lose them that's fine i just need to feel like i brought the things with me i don't care like i'll start anew so i'm gonna show you my room and then imagine how i'm gonna fit all my shit into like four suitcases i'm gonna try and keep like the stuff that's on the bed because i like those pillows and low-key throw pillows are expensive i'm gonna try and keep the art but not the frames i'm gonna try and keep that this thing will probably sell so i can buy lunch today the way i'm literally not kidding and then i'm gonna try and keep this artwork probably like that mirror this thing i don't really care what happens to it can die i don't care about it at all same with this like i'm probably gonna try and keep that print i'll keep this too this i just kind of was here when i showed up so like sisterhood of the traveling mirror i suppose um and then i'll show you guys all my luggage that i'm gonna check on the plane what an absolute terror i am my god luckily the flight from chicago to new york is really like absurdly short so i think everything should be fine i'm gonna write my to-do list because i actually do have a lot of things to do on top of that i have to film a few videos today and then because i'm leaving and i feel like i've really missed out on a lot of this city since i didn't have any time to do anything while i was here i have a list of like just some random places i want to go because 
why not? It's also going to be super hot today. It's like 85 degrees today, so I'm definitely going to try and get outside. Let's do it. As I just got ready, I'm like so flirted right now. First of all, while getting ready, I managed to get mascara on my sweatshirt and I was really hoping to not do any laundry. I probably still won't. But listen, I also got um, pizza roll on it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I get like this email from Southwest and they were like, yeah, like here's what you need for your flight tomorrow. And I was like, tomorrow? What the hell tomorrow? My flight is tomorrow because I thought it was a 31 day month. Now, if you're sitting there being like, why don't you know how many days there are in a month? I never felt the need to learn it if I'm being honest. I leave tomorrow, I have less than 48 hours. Like I... Okay, so I just got done filming a different video. So if you're like, Sam, why are you in this fit and trying to move? I don't know. Also, it's so hot already out. I am going to take down this, take down this, and then take down the wallpaper. Here's the issue, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Instead of being like a sensible, rational person, I felt the need to screw through. I'm not kidding, and I'll show you in a sec. Screw through the, the actual like frame and like, the plastic, it's not glass, the plastic cover on there. Just to make sure it stayed up. What the fuck? That's crazy. Why would I do that? Like, I don't know. What's ironic is I think I did it because like I was coming from Seattle. So I think I had in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, what if an earthquake happened? And the ironic thing is that probably would have sounded really stupid, but I was laying right there and then i was like earthquake what the fuck nothing happened so maybe it was a good call i don't know i'll show you guys these stupid screws though because like why'd i do that that's insane so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to break this off because i felt the need to behave like a maniac and do it like that why did i do that like i'm gonna like oh oh god see how it looks so bad the reason why i'm so adamant on trying to save this is because it was kind of a lot of money i remember when i bought this like it was like 60 dollars i'm now sort of remembering why i set that there and it's because whoever lived here before me left command strips on the wall that would not come off they're like melted into the wall and so i don't think i was able to get like a flat surface for it the annoying thing is like i could just leave it but since i'm subletting like i really don't want to leave the person who's taking over because she's so nice like i want to leave that for her that's so rude i'm gonna try and scrape it off i'm so excited for this next part since i've put this shit off i've wanted it gone it has been nothing but a problem for me issue though at a point i did take mod podge and put it <laughs> on the wall to help it stick and then i also at another point this is crazy took my iron and like went over it I have to be quick. I have a bird that comes to visit me. We're bestie pals. And he came to say goodbye to me. This is like gonna make me emotional. My best friend right here. Love her. Stop. I miss you, bestie. Oh, now I'm sad. Okay, so I was able to get all of my clothes. There might be a few random ones that I somehow forgot about. I have to somehow get this clothes so overpacked. I know I'm gonna try and weigh this thing and it's not gonna work. Like it's gonna just be too big. So why am I trying it? I literally don't know. Okay, I think I'll flip this out. If you're like, oh my god, it's been a little bit since she vlogged, it seems to be nine time. She's probably gotten a lot done. Oh. So, <laughs> for us now, I feel like in the clips it looked like a little bit, like I don't know, I had my shit together kind of. It's like, it got so much worse. <laughs> this is covered up because I decided to tan last night. My bed is a mess. Also because I decided to tan, you can literally see my fake tan on the bed. Also, I got blisters. So like now my feet... I just covered So, fun fact, um, I don't know if I'm flying out today. Basically, my apartment, I asked them on like Friday when I had someone tour or Thursday, something like that. I was like, hey, like, 
they're applying today like will we be able to do this by the first and they were like yeah we should like i don't see a problem with it and then the system was down which is like not really their fault but so it was down and then no one was in over the weekend which makes sense and then today no one was in and so i'm like okay well tomorrow is literally the first i was told the first works and so i booked a flight so i just kind of have to figure out my next steps which is just annoying honestly anywho i'm still have to pack anyway worst case it's maybe delayed by like a few days or something also i don't think i've like processed that it's my last day here um potentially i guess i think that's part of why i haven't processed processed it because i'm like oh i might stay here another few days nights whatever so yeah i'm exhausted oh i didn't tell you guys this part it's like I should put on my watch today. It is 4.30 in the morning. I've been up since like 3.30. I went to bed super early. I was like exhausted. So, yeah. We'll see how today goes. Keep you posted. In the meantime, I gotta get my shit together. Guess what? I am all packed up. I'll show you in a sec. All of my luggage. Sorry, I'm like rusting my legs. Uh, I was able to get everything off my bed, but I have one, two, three. Oh, wait, okay, wait, wait. One, two, three, four checked bags, and then a carry on, and then also my bag. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be like so phenomenally embarrassing. Um, this is just a towel that I'm figuring out whether I'm bringing it with me or not because I do like the towel, but it's wet, so I don't want to throw it away. Like, I hate doing that they bothers me so much i have a few random things that i still have to do today i have to return my newly and then i also have this bag of food <laughs> it's all like good and it's i feel so guilty about getting rid of stuff like that like there are literally starving people like and i have food like it just it bothers me so i'm seeing if anyone wants it just these things i don't know if you guys know about these but there's buy nothing groups and they're just on facebook they're amazing i posted it on one of the buy nothing groups i am happy and now i just wait my flight is at i think 7 30 at least get in the uber by six at the latest probably 5 30 would be a good idea so i'm not stressed maybe or do you think five? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, no, because for real, like, how the hell am I gonna do this? I did think about this before anyone's like, why didn't you think about this? I fully thought about this and questioned it. So I for sure, I'm gonna have to take two trips down from like my apartment to my lobby, which is just gonna be awkward, but that's fine. And I'll bring these down first or I'll ask my Uber to wait <laughs> so I can grab the other one. It's gonna be so embarrassing. I'm already itched out by myself. This is gonna suck. All of the bags are inside. If you're curious why I have a rash, I don't know, but I have a feeling it's because because of her. Him. Also, I bought a thing of Magnolia Bakery banana bread pudding because I wanted my mom to try it because I knew she would love it. And I totally forgot about it. And obviously now it's been like at least 12 hours. So it's terribly bad. I have to get all this stuff into the basement now. I was an idiot and I packed prints, like glass frames, okay? And a mirror. And somehow they're not broken. I am going to finish moving these downstairs. That way I can start getting this together. The girls are here. Okay, so I'm in my basement right now. I'm gonna show you guys a quick before. This is actually in pretty decent shape compared to everywhere else, but like where the workout area is. And then this will be my room. We have like a line here so I can put curtains here. All right, clearly I have a lot to do. And also here as well. I have like so much to do. I'm trying to get it all done by the end of the weekend. It's currently Thursday. So I'm thinking I'll be able to build everything, like repaint the dresser and stuff, um, all of that stuff. 
by the end of the weekend because my dad he's currently on a business trip but he'll be home so he'll like be able to help me build IKEA furniture because that is like such a terrible activity but I think I'm actually gonna go to the store and get some paint for the dresser that I got which I'll show you guys but I think I'm gonna make another video just like a vlog style as well like this of the process of redoing everything of like the before and after so you guys are gonna sneak peek into the before but the after is not all there yet so yeah <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video um obviously a lot of mixed feelings mixed emotions but i feel pretty good about this decision and all of that stuff <laughs> sorry if you hear my dog but yeah there's there's definitely more to this that i am considering how much i can say um i'll figure that out at some point <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you guys have any video requests, questions that I can hopefully answer. And I will see you guys in my next video where we actually like get to redo this and see this turn into an actual livable room, which I'm so excited about. All right, see you guys in my next vid. Bye.